Hello wonderful people, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a turban with this design by side. I don't know maybe you can understand what I'm saying. You'll be I'll be using the velvet material that you are seeing right here to make the turban. And this design will be by the side. So you will know how to make this design as we go on in this tutorial. So the other materials we'll be using, you will need your needle and thread, your temple with scissors and your office pin. All right, guys, let us get started. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, I'm using a velvet material here. It is not necessary to use a velvet material. You can use any material of your choice. So um, I joined it right here because it's leftover material that I use for a project. So if you are using your own, you don't need to join. You don't need to join any pieces with it. So this is the body of the turban. And the, I have 20 inches there for the width. For the S upper face side, 20 inches by 14 inches for the width. So um, for the band, we'll be having a V-shape band. And the material we'll be using for it is already cut out. And I have 13 inches width. The length is 13 inches and the width is 4 inches in fold. That means this is 8 inches in fold will be 4 inches. So I have two pieces of the band here like this. So I will cross it on each other and place it. I know this is not new to some people. So you know how to do that. But I will explain for those that is watching me for the first time or does not know how to do it. So I'll place it on each other to form a V-shape and thereafter place it on the body of the top band. Now for this band to be easy for you to sew to your body, to the body of your top band, I would advise you first sew it like this. You know this is a velvet material, it has a way of drawing on your machine. So for easy sewing, you sew it like this, sew it, sew it this way. Can you understand what I'm saying? You sew it like this, sew it straight, and when you get it, sew it like that V shape, and sew it to this side. So by the time you place it on your the body of the turban, it will be very easy for you to sew. You just need to pin it down with your uh, office pin. So let me go ahead to sew it now, and I will come back to show you the next thing. But don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Now take the center of the body and notch it this way. So the band that you sew together, I've already sewed it, place the center at the center of this place and pin it down with your office pin. So if you can sew it without pinning down with your office pin, you just go ahead to do that. Just do what is very easy for you. So I'll take it like this and take it to my sewing machine and sew it straight. So I'll make sure when I get here, I must arrange it very well, place it very well. So that by the time I sew it, it will be okay at the other side. I don't know, maybe you're getting me. So by the time I sew it, it will be very okay at the other side. So I'll go ahead to sew the way I explained to you, and I will show you the next thing. I have sewed it the way I explained. So the SSC, I just take your scissors and trim it out. You can as well take it to overlock machine to overlock it. Don't just leave that rough edge like that. And if you don't, if you know that there is no overlock in your area or what you can use to overlock it, I mean, so just trim it out very well. Trim it out very well. After trimming out the hairs on the band, just flip it over to the wrong side and mail your head circumference. My head circumference is 22 divided by 2. I will have 11 inches, and that is what I'll mail on this band. So because it's a stretching material, so I'll not just be using that 11, I'll be using 11 and a, half, a 10 and a half. So I'll just sew it from that side. When I get here, I'll take my table and measure 4 inches. So by the time I sew it, I'll just sew it the way you are seeing me shocking it out. So that is how I'm going to take it to my machine and sew it that way. Welcome back. So I have sewed it the way I explained. So you just trim out the excess, the excess after the sewing. The excess, trim it out and double your thread inside your needle to do a running stitch on that part that you sewed. 
Now, our velvet V-shaped turban is ready. Can you see? Very simple to make without consuming much of your time. Now, for the design that will be by your side, this is the design. I've already made it. Guess what? I will show you. So, for you to know how to make this design, watch this video till the end. And don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> don't forget. So, just continue watching. You will know how to achieve it. So, I will just take my um glue gun and place it attach it to the design and place it wherever i want it to be either at the right side or at the left side so i'll just go ahead to attach it and i will show you how it will look on my mannequin yeah 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 <laughs> please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and watch this video again to know how to achieve this design this lovely and beautiful design So now for the design that will be on top, I will be using the fascinator wire to make my own, just like a fascinator on top of it. So I have 28 inches here. I have joined it together with my thread. This is a fascinator wire. So I'll be using this net to cover it up, just like you want to do your fascinator. So you can use any net and you can also go ahead to use the satin you used. So now what I'll be doing now, you first use your bias you can use your bias to tape it around or use your uh what is it called now satin that you use now if you want to use your satin i have two inches here you take it to your sewing machine the right side favoring the right side and sew it straight and turn it out there is another method you can also use if you have iron maybe maybe you have a light there is light there's no light now without use this one you will fold it like this out there Fold it inside and iron it so it will just be as if you sewed it so but there is no iron now and it will just be like this there is no light now so the next thing if you if you are using this method the next thing is just to take it to your sewing machine and do it this way cut it now and use your machine to sew it around and you can as well use your candle gum or your you should go to go meet around. So I will go ahead and do one of this design now, one of this illustration I made now to cover the fascinator wire. So I used the first method, I sewed it, the right side facing the right side and I turn it out. So now I place it like this, I place uh, the thread inside it like this the wire inside it like this and i use my machine to sew it and that is what i have did here and i have done here cut it so that is what you're going to do mad it does it does not necessary you should do the same thing i did you can use your bias the way you used to do it to tape it around but i just want to use this for this training got it so i'll use my need uh, the machine machine to do it around just like this and I will come and show you the next thing so now I have done it look at it so the reason why I like this method is that I don't use I don't waste my gum so I prefer to use this method just sew it around and it's very neat so now we're placing it inside the net this is the one side of the net I'll use it to gather it like this and to use my thread to so, so tie it so just try to tie it don't draw it together because I don't want any shape I just want it plain like this so I'll make sure I tie it very well and there after I knot it bring the two threads together and knot it so you go ahead to cut out the excess make sure you are very careful so that you won't cut the net you trim it very well okay. 
So for the one we place on top of this, we are going to be putting quinoline line inside our lining. And the material I cut into pieces, I have 6 inches, 8 inches, the length is 8 inches with 2.5. You know, this the, the quinoline line I use is 2 inches, from here to here is 2 inches. So with half inch for sewing allowance, so that is what I have here, 2, two and a half by 8 inches. I cut it into 6 places, the one that will be down. And the other one, six inches, you can, you can just make use of your own measurement. It's not necessary to use the same measurement I use. So I have six inches here by 2.5, the one that will be on top of this. So now I have sewed it. And that is what you are looking at. I've sewed it. Um, device surface and device side and sew it straight. So now I'll be turning it out and place my quinoa line inside it. I'll just be turning that and place my quinoa line inside it. So this is it now. I'll take it, don't cut it out. You first put it inside the lining. You fold it inside like this, inside the material before you cut it out. You fold it inside like that. Pull it inside and then come out from the other end. After placing it inside very well, you cut out the excess quino line. I do the second thing. Look at it now. And do the second thing. And do the same thing, sorry, to the other quino line, other material. So go ahead and do the same thing to it. And that is how you place it inside one by one and cut it out. Can you see? So that is what I will do to the other pieces. All right now. So after you have put all the quinoa line inside, the quinoa line inside all the pieces, you take your needle and thread and begin to, like, you want to, you pass your needle through them, you want to gather them together. You can see what I'm, what I'm doing now. So pass your Need you to the one after the other. Don't cut out the thread. You continue it like that till you finish all the six pieces. And if you want to use seven pieces, just go ahead and do that. So after you have gathered them together, you just draw the thread. Look at it. Everything will not come together like this. Can you see? So after you have drawn the thread, you will join this one to this other one so that the space will close. You don't want to have any open space. So make sure you join it very well and draw the thread tight. That is what I'm doing now. So can you see? So it's the same thing that you're going to repeat to this smaller one. Same to you're going to repeat, and that is what I'm going to do, and I'll put it on top. So after you have gathered these small ones, you will not place it. See, I did mistake here. I have already done it before I discovered that I'm using five instead of the six that I said I will be using. So it depends on what you want. I think this five is still okay for me. Now, I'm going to take this one on top and tack it down. But before I tack it down, I want to use the feathers. So, feather, and I will be placing it inside before I place this one on top. And I will tack everything together. I will tack everything together. So, I will just arrange it the way I want and put it and use my tray to tack everything together. And also place it. I want to tack everything together. I will place this one on top also. Undied me. And make it the way I want it to be. So what I'm doing right now is to tack it. I will come down outside uh, at the back like this. I will go inside again. I will just make sure I tack, tack it firm. And all the, this thing is they are tagged together with the feathers so i will do that very well so after i am done 
after I made sure that I did it very well, I can place something like this. This is brooch. I can place it on top. I will not cut out the pin. You can either cut it out or use your gum to gum it. And you can also decide to put a rose on it, in which I, I will explain to you how to form a rose with a material. So, will I call it a rose now? Anything you call it, sure. Yeah. So get a circle like this. I don't measure it. I do not measure it. So you can get any something, any circle object to cut out your own circle. And it also depends on the size you want. I just need small size now. So what I'm doing is that I'm using I'm doing a gather on the edge of the material. It's only on the edge. And that is what I'm doing. So I will do everything and draw it together to have what I wanted to do. So I am I've done it now. I'm just going to draw the thread and dress it very well. You can see dress it very well. And I will draw it again. So after drawing it, make sure you close off the hole. Use your needle and thread to close off the hole so that you have a small hole. And you go ahead to place your pearls or a pearl or a big stone on top so that it will cover this rough edge that you touch so just close it up so that you have a small hole left over so after i cut out the thread and i've dressed it very well just take my gum and my pearl and i'll apply my gum on the pearl and place it on this part so i will allow it to dry so you can either place this one on top to cover that rough place or you can go ahead so place your brush is on top so i'll just pick one of what i did now and use it maybe that the brush or the design i use my hand to make so everything is all about creativity you can see can you see so everything is all about creativity now you will not go ahead to place this when you can use this you can use this one on turban 